Okay, there we are once again the famous Bendix Diner as seen on the Jerry Seinfeld show Comedians in Cars Getting Coffee. Hasbro Kites, New Jersey, Route 17 South. I'm headed to meet with William H. Morrow III, commercial voiceover specialist and former NFL football quarterback. For more wackiness or God knows what we're going to talk about. Maybe more madness. Who, who the hell knows? Who the hell knows? Didn't have breakfast, lunch, and dinner? Now what did now what did you say again? How come I how many servings did I have? You said you had six servings. I didn't count. I stood there for two hours and stuffed myself. You said half a dozen, half a dozen is six. Oh, maybe it was more. I, I gorged myself like Homer Simpson. <laughs> Are you kidding me? They had good food there. All the seafood is fresh, not frozen. But they didn't make any money. they never make money on me. At the buffet. The Royal Hibachi Gorilla. I mean, the Royal Hibachi Grill and Buffet. The guy's Turkish. He gets all his fishes fresh. But, like I said, they never make money on me. And I and do I feel bad? Am I going to lose sleep? No. <laughs> He's laughing. I'm not losing a wink of sleep over it. Oh, uh, Saddlebrook Mall, Route 46 West, by the Walmart. And there's a 24-hour fitness, and there's a dollar zone. Yeah, it's in there. Hello, Bill. How are you? Oh, be quiet. The guy's Turkish. Why are you telling me to be That's quiet Brooklyn for now, Turkish. Bill? Who's going to get started? I know it. Hello, William. Hi, Julie. Any good news yet? I don't know. I'll get Monday or Tuesday, I'll go back. Okay. Uh, I'm tired of shit. Yeah. Well, the, the good thing is you get to meet a lot of people. You know. I'm glad you two got back in here at the same time again today. No, I happened to uh, uh, finish buying my coffee at all these because uh -huh. I ran out. Oh. I don't want. Can't run out of coffee. No. Then I meet my Eileen is here. Caffeinated or regular? Though? I mean, no, yeah, the caffeinated doesn't have the same flavor as caffeine coffee. It's, it's something missing, you know. And he needs. More caffeine, like another hole in the head, as you can tell. Just like you, when, you, when, you need more when caffeine William, too. When William speaks, it sounds like he's caffeinated because he's <laughs> so, Energetic. he's a dominatrix. Yeah. When you say something to somebody, like my dad always said, say it like you mean it. These people, when you right. say, hey, good morning. Okay. Yeah, but when other people get energetic, you want to shut them up. Well, no, people that go on and on. <laughs> Here's Jimmy's with a story. Oh. So you want to say, bam. And we were talking about that this morning again. If you ever go to New York City, you see how in a hurry everybody is in, in Manhattan? That's how he is, like... Bah, 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 well, why do you want to make a story long? Because some, some stories have extra, extra information. No, they don't. That's because you say so. And, and I do say so. And you do I go know. on. And when I say about your story, so what are you trying to say is blah, blah, blah. You go, yeah, so why didn't you just say because that? Because there might be an extra three words attached to it. No. It's called long-winded. You, Edith, Matt, I'm going to get you all together. I met a new guy for you last night. He just moved here from Ohio. I said, Mo. Even Ohio you're I said, insulting? I said, you're insulting Midwestern see, see, people? here you go. I said, Mo, stop. You're going on and on. I said, I cannot you wait. His name is Mo? That's what I just said, yes. Oh, yeah. And I said, you've got to meet my friend Jimmy. You two will hit it off. You will be out talking each other. Now let me it's ask you a question. Wonderful. When you're, when you're, then let me when, give you an answer. When you're in your either the room watching television, you got the air condition blasting, and you have solitude, and there's no human being in there with it's you. So nice. You actually relish that? I relish it. I put her on hot dogs and everything else. I knew you were going to say that. And this morning. You, but no, not even a chick is with you. This morning, they had a. Uh, He's an attempt at humor. This morning, now he don't want to bone nobody out. Uh, here we, this morning, third time because you, yeah. This morning, a new guy was a naked guy was walking through the, the hotel. Naked guy? Yeah. Oh my God. <laughs> That's nothing. I think I, I passed him. <laughs> I, I was I think the first to pass him because I was up early. I went to my room. I was going back to my room having a cigarette. Going back around 4:30, 5 o'clock in the morning. This guy's coming at me. He's wearing a t-shirt and underwear. Oh, and that's it. 
He goes, good morning. I said, well, no, good morning to you too. I said, have a nice day. And later on, they told me some naked guy was walking all through the hotel. So I think maybe after he passed me, he stripped everything else off. <laughs> so you yeah. do have entertainment there. Well, they've had that a couple of times. They've had that a couple of times. A couple of guys have been in new. Oh, it, there, it is a high volume hotel. I mean, a what? It is a high volume hotel. Oh. Popularity. They're, they're charging a dollar seven for the cup. Now you're gonna, I, you heard about a naked guy. You're gonna be hanging out. Wait there, a minute. You? You're complaining about a dollar seven for this? <laughs> oh come on. You're gonna be hanging out there. Look how she's hugging her purse. Shh, shh, shh. So close. I don't. You can't put your purse on the side. I got gift cards in here and everything. Tell, tell, and tell him about yesterday and your. She's your, got gift cards in here. Both of you stop. Tell him yesterday about your staying. I got an outfit and it's stained again. Well, I think you're seeing it because you showed me yesterday and I said, I don't see it stained. Mm -hmm. It was um, there, Bill. She's delusional. I don't think it was Eileen. It was, Bill. No, it wasn't Eileen. I didn't see it, Eileen. Um, Amulet, was the stain really on Eileen's uh, garment? Stop, stop, stop. It. All right. Still. Uh, Amulet, was the stain really on Eileen's garment? Really? The amulet's I, agreeing with Eileen. How about that? No, That's because you. Lie. The hell you well, you, well, you have a, you have a uh, guardian when spirit. When I was here yesterday at McDonald's with my, 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 my friend Eileen, so I didn't see the stain on her blouse. Did she have a stain on her blouse? When, yes, I told you, Bill. I don't like saying no it's saying it's no yes Jimmy, so Jimmy, Jimmy always gets right. it wrong I, that's why I, no, I don't get it I don't get it wrong it's actually the spirit that likes that attached himself to Bill likes Bill and and kisses up to Bill from the apartment tells the truth for Jimmy. Jimmy claims that you kiss up to me is that true <laughs> probably a demon and wants to possess you Jimmy claims that you're a demon who wants to possess me is that true Does Jimmy make a lot of stuff, Bobby? No, I have sharp intuition, always did. Does Jimmy have sharp intuition? Did he always? Okay. <clears throat> now, who's who's a bit better candidate for, for master of the entire universe? William Morrow or James P. Madonna? You're making fun of a master of the universe. That's no, your... because it's it's an ego thing. You want to be right. I, well, no, I, 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 no, I no, no, you know, but you I are right. I don't want to be. I don't want to be right. I want the actual fact. No, but actually, you are right a lot of I times. I want the truth. I'm agreeing with you. I don't care. I want the truth. He doesn't, doesn't even care if I agree with him. Jimmy, stop it. You're not. I don't get the. Don't go. <laughs> oh, caffeine. I, 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 I figure I'm being nice and agreeing with him. Jimmy, stop. No more caffeine. He's like Andrew Anderson. He just wants to get old James up the old uh, Ugulu. You know, in Italian, we say Ugulu. Sometimes, Jimmy, my friend Jimmy just can't stop talking, can he? Oh, he's trying to psych me out, brother. Now you just calm it down, Jimmy. You won't stop. What do you want today? Your drugs kicking oh, in or oh. what? Eileen, well, how do you really feel about those plastic artificial rocks out front? They're crazy. They're like the ones in my head. <laughs> uh, we're all here. Look, Kathy's here. How no, about that? Kathy Kathy is, is her, she's she's Kat, Catherine? No. That's not her name? Nope. Never has been. All right, whatever. I don't know. Karen? She, Karen, I'm Karen, sorry. Jimmy just said you changed your name to Kathy. Is that oh, true? I, was, I was close. Uh. I was close. <laughs> Karen, Karen. That's right. Unbelievable. Look how she's hugging that purse. And why are you hugging that purse? To get more stains that she sees that we don't. I got my social security check in here. See it? Okay, but why is it here? Why isn't it? I was in the mailbox and I didn't want to go back into my apartment to put it in my apartment. I have gone into my apartment back and forth today about five times. Did you get that important phone call the other time when you had to rush home? I had to call him. <laughs> so she, see, she rushed Ran home for nothing. For no, I told her that too. Carry your damn phone and have them call yourself. Listen, listen to me. He 
Listen, give and your... that's why we said, why are you rushing out of here? They're not going to call you. We told you what would Listen, happen. Listen, put, give everyone of importance your cell phone number. That's why people get a cell phone. Number one, first one would be Jimmy. No, no, yeah. no. Jimmy, ain't gonna Jimmy's happen. number one. And we're about the Mario Brothers. Put put his number. Maybe in. second or third. Jimmy, number one. Don't forget that Ray dude. Oh, Ray, he's got a, probably a separate phone for his he's your He's that. your new uh, uh, gu uh, guy, Galupi. My guy. The gullet. The, gu the gullet. That almost sounds like a bird. There's my friend here at McDonald's, Eileen. I like that somewhat out there guy, Ray. Does she like him a lot? Uh, oh, boy. And, you're, and you're, he's putting it mildly out there a lot. Well, yeah, I don't the groups. I like Ray, too, but he's out there. I mean, let's be honest. Come on, man. Yeah. So. Even though he annoys the crap out of you, you can still like him. Oh, uh, yeah. He, he, I told him one day, I said, Ray, stop it. I don't even know what you're talking about. He was all, how's football? I said, it hasn't started yet. I'm like, what is wrong with everybody? They're all losing their fucking minds? <laughs> Are you, oh my God! Are you are you campaigning to fight swamp ass? Everybody who campaigns for Not the girls that wear lycra spandex in the gymnasium to try to get attention, like attention whores. You know how much you sweat in spandex if you worked out. It's not it, not a pretty sight. Well, how are you? <laughs> I just said, so how are you? You didn't say a word. He goes, so what else is going on? I'm doing good, Bill. I can't hear. I got a lot of wax in my ears. Well, why don't you go to ENT and get it fixed? A who? An ENT. What's an ENT? An ear, nose, and throat doctor. You know my... my. don't know where one is. They're all everywhere. Every you, town has them. You know my family physician got rid of my wax? Let's see. Let's see. Okay. I had wax. My, my family doctor took care of it. Quiet, everybody. <laughs> Does my friend Eileen have an awful lot of wax in her ears? Should she go to an, e an ear, nose, and throat specialist and get, get her ears cleaned out? Yes. I had enough wax to make a candle. My doctor took care would, of me. Would this open up a whole new world for, for her as far as improved hearing? Yeah, it did for me. No, my, my my doctor of internal medicine did it. He had the, the, the water gun for it. My guy, my old doctor used to do, but he retired now. I wonder if my That doesn't doctor... mean the, the business retired? Mm. They're all over There's the so place. There's so many doctors. I'll have to see if my EMT will do it. I'll have to, if my MD will do it. I'll have to ask him. Ask him, I need an ENT. Who should I go to? Who do you recommend? Now, you don't need a specialist for that. What? My medical, what? My medical doctor did it in the past. I'll have to see if my medical doctor will do it now. Well, I don't think he will. He'll refer you to an ENT. Uh -huh. Ear, nose, throat specialist. But my doctor. If not, you can go over to Jimmy's house. And listen, do it. my doctor of internal medicine had the gun that does it. He did it for me, and I, I started hearing things that I didn't didn't hear in months. He he heard people that weren't even there. Oh, and that's that's not good. You no. Know? Yeah. Good. Hi. How are you? Where'd you go? Oh, Eileen, how many of there? How many of you are there? <laughs> no, a fly sees multiple. Now go over to his place. He'll clean your ears I think out. I asked him, and he said he wouldn't do it. My MD, because yeah. he's an MD. Everything's my specialized. Did it. My, well, this is different nowadays, Eileen. My doctor had the device. He did it. He even took a mole off, uh, a, um, off me with dry uh, liquid nitrogen and then he followed that up with a gopher I'm and thinking, uh, I to, I'm thinking go 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 I, get this mode off, yeah. use, I think you need a head transplant listen they, they it's a gun it's it sprays liquid nitrogen dry ice it'll freeze it and what they do is they put like a tape around it so you don't damage and it it disappears right frostbite so I want to use that on the all over you like in layman's terms frostbite now I'm gonna do it to you here's I leave layman's <laughs> I like that Where'd word. Where'd she go? Hey, this is good. I like that word, Layman. I like this stuff. Bye, Lee. Hey, when I was a kid, those x-ray sunglasses, did they really work? Yeah, they did. 
And it's like Bamino's Turkish taffy was really invented in Turkey. It was. It, well, everybody knows that. Oh, did your friend get back safe, or is she still in Turkey? No, she's still in Turkey. Oh, oh wow. She must have a rough schedule managing a uh, 7-Eleven. About 12, 14 hours a day. Yikes. Probably six days a week. No, no, Not seven, six. seven. Holy crap. No life. No, no Maybe support. I'll get you a job down there when my friend comes back. Where is it? Right here at the Exxon station, the, the 7-Eleven. My friend is a manager. Doing what? Working. What, is a cashier or Well, cashier, the whole bit stocking the shelves. It's the same as gainful employment? Yeah. That's not a very pleasant word. Gainful employment? Right. Now, buffet is a nice, pleasant word. Gainful employment? <laughs> or anything with food. You have uh, something to work with food. You and Joe Rizzi. That's because you don't. your appetite is, is lower now. But you do have a thing where you've got to be eating. It's same with Joe. He eats six times a day. He's got an illness. Well, you talk about football a lot. That's an illness. When? I don't talk about it a lot. Oh, okay. Not, not much at all. In fact, we're going to start, so we can talk about interesting stuff. Okay. Interesting stuff. My other my other friend, the older guy, Joe Rizzi, did he have a severe problem in odd habits with eating? I've always told him, I said, you're sick, Joe. Hey, Jackie gets on him, some hit him and his goddamn meeting. He's a fucking cunt. He's a cunt. Scumbag. He's a oh, bag. that guy. Holy crap. He told me all about him. Does Joe Rizzi have severe mental and psychological problems and issues? Right into it. I don't like when people do shit. I have very low tolerance for this stuff. His son won't even talk to him. And he's a liar, too, because he's told liar. blatant lies. Huge. Whatever he says, oh, I told Jackie this years ago. Whatever. Everything. He says, you always believe the opposite. He's a chronic liar. He's got mental problems. Now, when he used to give you rise, didn't he throw it up to your face? His own son won't talk to him. Darren. There's nothing Everybody knows me yeah. from the Paramus Suburban Diner. A couple years back, they all, all get a bunch of the young kids came over. Billy, our quarterback in high school, blah, 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 he's great. Can you do any forms that you know Darren? This is back when Darren was the head coach at the University of Rhode Island. Their quarterback at Paramus wanted to go to Rhode Island. I made a phone call to Darren. He doesn't even speak to Joe. Less than five minutes, the phone call rings. It's Darren. Hey, bud. What's up? I said, hey, Darren, I need a favor. I want you to look at the soul. Let's get this kid over and play. What's this guy? See what you can do. Okay. He got the, I got the kid in scholarship. And to this day, I've never met the kid. But you see how people like you respect you and trust you, what you can do and work for things. What? No, five minutes, less than five. I got a return phone call from Darren. He won't even call his own father, oh. ever. Even on the holidays. It's Merry Christmas, Darren. Happy birthday, Darren. Text. That's all he'll do. He will not talk to Joe at all. But nice, normal people will not throw it up to your face well, the if other they thing do you too, a favor. The other thing, too, I told Jackie this. I always believe, and to this day I still believe, Joe is not their biological father. I just don't want him. I just don't believe him. Something's always been different. I told everybody that years ago. My friend Joe Rizzi. Is he Danny and Darren's biological father? Hmm. Interesting. Wow, look at that swing. Holy mackerel. Have I always been right about Joe Rizzi? Well, you're very observant. Well, no, I get inside. I, I pride myself in usually not wrong. And my, my other friend, he was saying, you and your feelings are really scary. You get feelings, and they're never wrong. But his, his attitude was that of a first-class asshole. Oh, I don't, he lies. I don't, like I said earlier, here, we're going to do that now. My friend Joe Rizzi. Is he a chronic liar? I gotta get all these flat tests right here. <laughs> it's terrible not here. 
Where's your glass? Oh, you said you went to your MVP. Oh, my MVP. Did you do that? Yeah. Chronic liar. Chronic liar. Chronic liar. Pa is that the same as pathological? Pathological. Pathological liar. Okay. Shit. Every so I can go you can't stop lying. Message. Everything you do is a lie. It's, you're a liar. Yeah. You lie about it. It's a compulsion. I agree. So Shit. Dr. Ronald, let me tell you. Dr. Ronald Rigolosi is in Lodi. You like him. He just got his medical license back after having it revoked. Uh, no, he's got like citations all over the wall. He's um in the upstairs from the United um, no Bank of America. Where's that? Main Street in Lodi. Is it by Shopify? Uh not not far. Where is it by? I'm gonna you know what? I'm gonna bring booze here next time. Where is it by? Uh, let me tell you a quick way to get there. You go down Terrace Avenue, and what you're going to do is you're going to. Um, I know. I know the shop right on the um, What is that? Um, um, the street over from Kip Avenue with the the one with the New Jersey Transit uh, bus. It's a there's a bus stop there, right after Kip. There's a bus stop. I don't know what Kip Avenue. On Terrace, you're on Terrace. If you take any one of those streets to the end, and then you make a right, you'll see, you'll you'll see the Bank of America. Wait, it's on Boulevard. It's on the Boulevard. No, 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 no. You got to go all the way down to to like Main Street, South Main Street, and Lodi. There's a Bank of America. Well, I'm talking about the Bank of America across from the right here. No, that's another Bank of America. There's lots of them. It's a it's across from Wells Fargo Bank. Eileen, you're okay. not going to remember. This. Forget it, well, Eileen. You're not doing it right. GPS, now. Google Map. You have a phone? Google Map. Where's Wells Fargo? I don't like to bring my phone out because somebody might. Where's Wells Fargo? Google Map. Where's Wells Fargo? Google Map. I know how to do that, Jimmy. Where's Wells Fargo? Google Map. Why did you two ever get married? She wants me to lead her by the hand to Wells Fargo. You're just going to have to pick her up. That's I don't think that's going to happen. You've got to take her to Wells Fargo. Look at her. She's Google over you. Man. Look at her making eyes and licking her lips. Bank of America. I heard of Bank of America. All right. I'll make it easy for you. On Terrace Avenue, there's a restaurant called the Ivy Inn. I heard of the the next street over is Kip Avenue. Turn down Kip, go to the very end. So she interrupts me. Make a left at the Ivy On Kip? No, right no. At, right at Kip. Right at Kip If you're up here and you're going towards the Ivy Inn, it's going to be on your left, you're going to go right on Kip. So, uh, oh, where, Jesus where Christ. Jesus Christ where, Almighty. Where Ivy Inn is, then How did you get a degree? I got a degree when I was healthy. Where Ivy Inn hey, what'd is. What'd you study? The Three Stooges? Keep, 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 keep going where Ivy Inn is. Make a by IBM. Park in the IBN, you walk in, you go back to the bathroom section, and then you just hang out. There's a there's there's a secret uh, trap door that you go down a chute in the IBN uh, ladies' room, and it takes you right to Dr. Rigolosi's office. Like, get smart. You know, the one used to go down the. the Eileen, Eileen, give Eileen, it the up. title of the show, Get Smart. They were trying to tell you what something. I feel like I'm in a cone of silence episode. Oh, don't bring that thing up I'll again. Look for what? What do I do by the Ivy? Listen to me. Yeah. Near the Ivy Inn, there's a street called Kip Avenue, K I P P. Yeah. If you take that to the. Make a left on Kip Avenue? Do I make a left on Kip Avenue, she, Jimmy? She, she has an uncanny. Like, Is there any way of so getting through to Eileen? Make a left on Kip Avenue? Okay. Take it to the very end. When I say very end, not the boulevard, the very end, make a right, and then you'll you see, see Bank of America. You see that? It's right there. You it took that? me a thousand years to say that. You see that? What I ask? Oh, no, no. Is there any way of getting through to Eileen? Right into a big no. I need, I need booze really bad. You got a pen right down the doctor's name? Who has 
I don't have a pen. Put it in your phone. No, go up in the front. Ask them if they have a pen you could borrow. Eileen, Eileen, you have no, you have a notepad. I was supposed to show her too. You well, you'll a, know, you'll know if Jimmy touches your pocket. You have notes. a notepad in you your. Have you know what? Phone. She's she's gone. She's. Gone. You two, you two together. No, are you hear how she she asked me a question and she she, she cuts me off. I, and I just said you can't get through to her. Oh God! I'm Stop trying. See, I can't get through to you. It took me a thousand years to tell her about Kip, napkin? Kip Avenue. <laughs> you could, you could do it in. You have a notepad on your phone, Eileen. <laughs> she doesn't carry her phone because somebody might take it. Okay. What's the doctor? What's the name? This, this is like friggin' worse than a Three Stooges episode. Uh, Rigolosi. Oh, this is gonna this is gonna be fun. Oh, this is gonna take a half hour. Ronald. <laughs> Rigolosi. Not no. You did. A, you said it like a Japanese person. R I. G. Yeah. You know. It's oh, been so long. What is this all about? L O S I. Because he does. He has the, the the apparatus to do the earwax. Oh, just get to an ENT. She don't want to go to a specialist. Yeah, I guess. Able to find it. This is some local. They have no local ENTs in Hasbro Heights. I'm sure they do. I don't know if they do. I know that they do. Every town My does. mother went to one in Hackensack on Prospect Street. And I might not be able to find it. This place, at least I got directions, sir. It only took me 20 minutes with Jimmy you, explaining whatever you. Whatever you on. do, don't tell Ronald Rigolosi I sent you. No, I won't. No, then he'll throw know, me out of his, know, his office. No, what you have to say, name, what you have to say, Eileen, is my boyfriend Jimmy. No, stop that told crap. Told me that stop I should that. come to you. That's not nice. That's why I love him so much. He highly recommends. Or if I bust, oh, oh, if I bust his chops, what, he gets mad. My bank of what did you say? Now, bank of America. America. Bank you want me to do the America. Irish jig? Right? Yes, go ahead, please. Oh, you should see what she's writing on. She's scribbling all... Oh, my God. Eileen, Jimmy's going to dance for you. What do you got? Where, don't they have a pen? Here, let me do it. So that's, they got. All right, that's all they gave her. That's how down. much they think I wrote it of her. Down. No, I was going to write it down nice. Well, you write. I'm going to go for a smoke because you two are driving me nuts. I'm driving you nuts. Oh, God. I'm trying to tell her. It's a number shop, Main Street. I, don't, I have no idea. Look at they gave you a broken pencil. <laughs> <laughs> this is, this is left you on me. You told me right on Kip. I wrote down. No, no. From your apartment, you would have to make a left on Kip. No. Okay. Left on Kip. Look, this is pathetic. Um, go to. Go. Very end. Very end. And make right. Well, but I'm, you know, I'm getting right at the This guy, don't listen to Bill. This guy is hooked up with Holy Name and Tina. He's a really, really, really good doctor. Make right. And then Bank of America is on the left. Holy shit. Believe me, I'm gonna say I'm gonna say something to them. You know what? Bank of America, look at this. You're gonna see it. It's on 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 left. And the doctor's office is upstairs. Go in, just go up there and you'll see it. On left. On no red go. Better than that? No pens? I mean, look. 
It's unbelievable. They, you know, they couldn't spare a pen. Thank you, uh, thank you. Isn't it amazing the amulet knew that? We didn't. You know why? If I was this, if I was this psych psychologist and I had patients like her, I'd probably put a pillow over their face and smother them. Well, ask it, Jimmy. How do you, how do you prize something with that's nothing, that's full of junk? There's our friend and acquaintance here at McDonald's, Eileen. She has severe mental and psychological issues. She 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 has nothing but junk, Karen, in her in that huge purse, and not one pen, not even a dollar store pen. And and the pencil they lent her, the graphite fell right out of it. I had a like, I had a, like, <laughs> unbelievable. But it's amazing, isn't this thing? Yeah, I mean it was also even in the midst, hundred percent, but it's ninety nine point something correct. Well, you you see how when you try to like explain something important to her, how she like, uh, she doesn't well, really. Well, you all reacting. I said I mean just can you? I said. No, she kept she kept asking me, and I kept no, I trying said. to tell about the Kip Avenue bullshit. You just can't get through. You just can't get through to Eileen at all, can you? I'm gonna have to use the napkins to explain her. There you go. See? Uh, here's what are you doing now? Asking me questions. What question did you ask? About you and your problems with understanding stuff. I said, you just, just can't get through to Eileen, can you? I said, no. Yeah, so we're trying to, Jimmy's trying to explain stuff and you just couldn't grasp it, Eileen. Could, could I go over there and use the napkin system? Why don't you sit for a little bit and both of you rest your gums? All right, all right. No, I was just going to show her the napkin, but not uh, that she's going to listen to me. I don't she still I won't. down wrong directions sometimes. So I wasted I my time down. writing the directions down? No, I read down wrong directions when people give them to me. But now I'll be able to follow the directions, you know? Is there... Any way of getting through to our friend Eileen here at McDonald's? Is people like Eileen what keep liquor stores so prosperous? Well, no, we don't, we don't make fun. But, uh, no, I mean, you know, the only therapy for... Well, no, Eileen keeps it prosperous and she drives us to go to liquor stores. Yeah, that's what I mean. It's not her that buys the booze. Yeah, she doesn't buy the booze. She pushes us to go get it. <laughs> In other words, she drives us to drink. You do. You don't make sense. I mean, what's wrong? Sometimes I make sense. I'm a college graduate. I have to make that sense. That doesn't mean anything. She understood what swamp ass is. That doesn't mean anything. I think it doesn't mean anything to me. Graduate. So many people graduate, and, you know. Eileen says she's a psych, she's a psych. She's a college graduate, you said she is. But does that mean anything? No. You see? It's how you apply things in life. What you do with them. It's just getting a degree. Yeah, I mean, to, so, the ability to memorize facts is is worthless unless you can unless you can apply those facts in the real world. It's like it's like interns or, or people that just kids that just graduate and they, and they get a job in a corporation. You just it's just remember it, it doesn't everything relate back to my dad. You can't get through to people. Now. No, I mean people that climb the the ladder of success and become a, a, de, a department director, or executive director. These are people. There's a reason why they excel. No, a, a lot of it's politics. A lot of it's just getting they're lucky. They're getting a break, and things happen. Yeah. Like sports, like what's happened to you. Uh, so I mean, what didn't happen? It's to luck. It's breaks. It's all kinds of BS. There's some a couple number of factors. But we're trying to get through to you and. Uh, it's hard to reach you, Eileen. So what do you have for dinner, Karen? Where are you going? Friendlies. Ah, she's going to Friendlies. I, I, 
I have pl I had plenty of seafood at the buffet yesterday. Coupon from where, Karen? Redmond. You heard that, huh? Oh, she's very secretive. What's a secret friend? Nobody's gonna stalk her. Yeah, you know, you know. I'm for sure staring at him like you're having him for dinner. Having him for dinner? Yeah. <laughs> I don't know yet. I'll get a uh, burger or something. I don't something that simple. Or, or your yeah. appetite has has not been up like it no, used to. No, I'm losing weight. Like you would, you would literally, it'd be a waste of money for you to go to a buffet. I got a couple bites and I'm done. Yeah. Well, uh, then, yeah. I th then I think something you you'd mention Eileen, I'd throw up and I wouldn't. You know, <laughs> just be, you heard me. In other words, Karen. See, you did hear me. No, why do you, why you do that? In other words, when Karen, when, Karen, Karen, when Karen Carpenter used to regurgitate, Eileen would have been an assistant. Oh, that was sad. My yeah. parents went away with them to Acapulco. But they're very nice people. They said they were the nicest people they met. They were wonderful. I also met uh, Linda Carter, the Wonder Woman. Oh, wow. I heard she's real nice. She's a super sweetheart. She's from Texas, I think. Well, I know Farrah Fawcett and uh, J J uh, Jacqueline, Fawcett Jacqueline Smith. Farrah Fawcett went to UT. Yeah, but uh, Where'd no. you go to college again? Ian Patterson. Oh, that's right. Karen Carpenter was a natural. She was just like oh, like, Whit like Whitney Houston, a natural, yeah. a, a, a legendary Are you singer. singer? Huh? Oh, Can I sing? I'm going to yeah. start going, Can you I'm sing? Can you sing? I'm going to repeat contest. everything. I'm just singing a dance contest. Show us. Wait a minute. She sang in a dance contest? <laughs> Wait a minute. With my friend. Why'd you sing in a dance contest? I sang it. I, I was in a singing and dance contest. Where? Singing Where? Up in the Catskill Mountains. Holy shit. Is that shit. the one where nobody showed up? Everybody. Did you do the nobody. Irish? Did you do the Irish jig? What did you sing? I sang. I sang. The, 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 oh, the music that was uh, was on the radio, you know? What was the song? I mean, that's a simple question. I don't remember it all. I was a little kid. Who played well, sing something for it. Wait a minute. Who played I don't the want to sing now, Who played the radio in a, in a contest? Hey, you know what you got to sing? Jimmy. Jimmy. Oh, Jimmy back. <laughs> when are you coming back? Hey. I'm gonna Just don't bust, you sing Will You Marry Me, I'm Bill. Gonna, I'm going to bust you. I'm going to bust your chops about being a dominatrix. You can't even spell dominatrix. You're a male dominant. Oh, D, capital D. No, it o. Have to be capital. Well, I try to make it fancy. Oh. No, anyway, who would put a radio on during a contest? A radio? They, they didn't, I don't think they did. What kind of cheap ass hotel did you stay in? It was not. It was. It, it was, 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 it I'm meditating. I'm staring at the rock. You're not in the mood for singing. You know what? To sing? I got to meditate staring at the fake rock. Hold on. Excuse me. Hi, Eileen. Hey, Eileen's out there. Hey, how you doing? Ah, oh, the rock makes just much sense as Eileen. See what he's going on and on. Here he goes. I'm doing shtick, as they say in, in uh, Jewish Hollywood. I'm doing shtick. Because it looks nice. That's why they put them there, I think. Okay. For show. Why do you have fake rocks up there? <laughs> now, of course, me telling jokes, even though they're short one-liners, is not good because he wants everybody to no, shut did up. You see how quick it was? Why do you have fake rocks up there? Bam. Right no, there. I, I was tying it into Eileen. You know, I like you get more sense out of the rock. You know? My friend Jimmy Madonna. Does he just go on and on? The, does Bill really? Does it worry him that he might 
end up being really alone someday? Does it, <laughs> does it worry me that I, I might be alone someday? Let's see what it says. He don't care. Billy don't no. care. No. Billy don't care. He's antisocial. Well, not really. I should I say I meet that. people everywhere I go. I wish people would leave me alone. I sit over there. I like to sit out front. Every time I go out in the place to sit, somebody comes over and talks. I tell Jack, I can't be alone. Everywhere I go, somebody talks. Do I wish to be alone a lot of times? Do I enjoy my privacy and being alone? Now, there you all made your stupid comments and just disproved those. Okay, so now what is, else do is, you want to say? Is, is, has Billy become a, a bona fide grouch the older he got? Have I become, as Jimmy's claiming, a bona fide grouch the older I've become? Alright. Yeah, I mean, it likes you. I like that. That's, that's as cool. As you know, I'm just less tolerant of all the bullshit, aren't I? Unless Billy tells, yes, unless no. Billy tells the joke, <laughs> I just don't like people going on and on and on. Do I? I only said a few words about the rock. By the way, see, just answered every question for you all. Now, how could a few wor words? If you weren't. You were joking going about on like you were talking to the rock. I said, "Oh, here." Yeah, that's called the joke. No, it's called, you said you were doing a shtick. That means on and on. I said, "Oh God, no." You know, um, this guy that we know, Andrew Anderson, he, not only did he love the spotlight, he loved to dominate the conversation. Wouldn't it be great if God was able to materialize and say, and just bitch slap him and Andrew Anderson? That Wouldn't can't happen. Gee, I wonder why. There's no God. Maybe an alien. Maybe the, maybe no God's God. it. Maybe God's extraterrestrial. Okay, the thing is, what about it? No, actually, maybe God's yeah. extraterrestrial. Well, that's not a God, Jimmy. No, I mean, God created man or the man created God. Man created God. Gotcha. I gotta see when I'm gonna go to get the wax out of my ear. You're not going to. I'm I have a feeling she's going to. No, I don't think you will. I promise you I will. I hate not being able to hear. What was so funny? You know how they make me laugh, though. <laughs> I think I missed it. But she's, she was get the wax out. It'll be your, her ear. So I, she'll be able to hear. I was acting like I was talking and she couldn't hear me, but I wasn't really no, okay. letting sound. Oh, God, you too. Jesus. But are you actually going to make an attempt to go? I am. I just got to get the phone number for the Jimmy. Just drive there. Same thing with Rochelle Park. Just drive over there. But if I drive there, will they give me an appointment? How the hell do I? Uh, yes, they will. You're an American citizen? But this is what phones are for. You need an appointment. No. Why drive, waste gas, and go there? Call on the phone. I'd like to make an appointment. They don't pick up. Rochelle Park? Well, what kind of a doctor's office? Is oh, no, the now? doctor will pick up. I'm so talk talking about. I'm talking about social benefits. No, we're talking about the, the doctor for her oh, years. Oh, just call him. You don't waste a trip in riding gas. Are you you're you're going to drive there and make an appointment? That's insane. What's your browser? Is it Google on your phone? I don't use Google. Use whatever is there. Should I lean drive to this doctor that Jimmy recommended just to make an appointment? See if I have his card. No. I might have his card. Hold on. Should I lean simply call to make an appointment? <sighs> yes. Jesus, I lean. Oh, drive there, waste gas, everything else. Well, that's not that far. It's far enough where it's wasting gas. God damn, man. See if I have his card. Oh, what are you grabbing for? Okay, I'm into the pen. I have a red pen in here. You, now you have a pen. Before you didn't. It was a red one. I didn't want to write with red, you know? Holy Why man. Why not? What the hell did that matter? Here. Here. Eureka. Copy his, copy his phone number down. Give it back to me. Actually, hold on. 
You know what? This is old. I don't need it. There's nothing important on it. Keep it. Oh, God. She's going to Now you got his card. She'll lose it. Don't lose that. That's him. All right? Cut oh. to a week or two later. Eileen, did you go to the doctor? I lost. I lost. I lost. You know, I lost. I lost his card. I lost his card. I'm not giving you a second card. Put that in a safe place. No, don't put it in your pocketbook. Somebody will steal that now. No, it'll go into another dimension. But in her case, maybe dementia. Where's the card? Break time for in my for What? I'm on break. Oh. oh. I'm going to get my cheeseburger on my Tropic Berry Sprite's good now. What is? Tropic Berry Sprite's good. The last couple of times it was like seltzer water. Tro oh. Tropic oh. Berry. It was waffle. It's good. Uh, that's because management's not putting enough of this flavoring in it. There's so much. Damn affirmative action. If you were the garage, no, I was looking at some. I was watching Eileen. I was looking at some some tanned tropical woman of the tropics. Sure you were. Yeah, sure. I really want yellow. I really want yellow teeth. You do? No. I tried getting the wax out with hydrogen peroxide. See, she ain't gonna go. She wants to do it herself. Okay. All right. I, you're right, Billy. That car, don't waste that car. This guy does even dermatological procedures. He does it on the face, you mean? No. No, he does the whole no. head transplant. Whatever you need. Whatever you need. Mole, anything. I've, I, I had him do so much for me. And, and if you need a blood work done, guess what? The blood, the blood work person comes to his office. You don't have to go to a lab. Gophers, groundhogs, he does them all. Phlebotomy, they call that a phlebotomist, right? Or lobotomy in this case. Or, uh... <laughs> oh, lobotomy, prefrontal lobotomy, okay. He's, a, he's very well known in holy name in Teaneck. You got the card, if you lose the card, don't ask me again. Putting in taint. You didn't bring, bring anything with your stuff in her mouth? And... Quiet her down a little bit. <laughs> it was an old song called <laughs> "Silence Is Golden." Yes, I think yes, he. The I think he likes that. Yeah, I, know what I think he likes it. My eyes still sleep. Yeah. Silence is golden, golden. William Morrow wants to be alone. Silence is nice. Some people talk just way, yeah, way like too it. much. Yeah. When do you meet Mo? Oh, you two guys are going to yak each other to death. I bet we can. I met a new guy, Mo, at the motel last night. Motel? He just moved here from Ohio. Nice young man. His name is Mo. And you know who he reminds you of identically? He even. Who? Oh, Sal to a T. He, he, he even criticizes people from the Midwest now. Now, before, now it's the Milky Way galaxy is full of long winded people. See what I mean? The bottom line is long windedness has no region. It can, it can come from anywhere. They're just people that talk too much. Yeah, it's true. There's no only the Eastern, it's only the Western. No, they all do it. No? North, South, East, Yeah, I can't, yeah, I can't, yeah, I can't, yeah, yeah. I tell them with the teeth you wind up. I told them last night, I said, I didn't know, I almost said Sal. I said, Mo, stop, stop. Uh, too much talk. And here, and here I thought my friend from San Diego was going to rescue me from this lovely area of darlings called the uh, New York metropolitan area, but it didn't happen. So I, so I could give the middle finger to this whole area and get the hell out of here and say, fuck, drop she's, this, die, she's eat a shit, a and die. She's a, why'd you run out after him? I just ran out because I was tired of this place. I feel like running out no, right now. No, Eileen, you're wrong. Like, Eileen, you're wrong. Like, he went well, out. I'm right. You I, both know, are, I, I got a conscience. Stop I know it. what I'm doing. Stop. Don't tell me to stop because we, I'm we know what we, we know what we saw. 
You two were whispering. He gets up and leaves. I ran up because I was pissed off that you said uh, I'm out. I of never bill, saw you run out so fast you in my life. You said I was out, and I was pissed off. That Did you, you ever see her run out so fast? Did I you ever see? She I feel she like ran. They, you literally ran. And that out. thing's heavy. It's full of junk, but I it's heavy. Because I was pissed off that you were saying I was out, Bill. I have I a did. right to run off. Oh, well, I'm yeah, but I told you, you're, some of your words and you don't order. listen. We can't get through to you. You have odd ways. We can't get through she asked to you. For, she asked for a cheap pencil to write And with, you had a pen and she had a time. pen in her purse the whole I time. I just didn't look the whole way through. I'm tired of looking through. Because you got too much place. junk in there. Like your place, you hoard. You won't clean your purse out, will you? I cleaned it out two weeks ago. There's though. garbage. There's something called garbage cans, gar trash cans, whatever you want to call it. When he lived in Ridgewood, they called it rubbish because people with money say rubbish. <laughs> you dump it out. You throw it out. Hey, Eileen, we can't get through. We're trying, but we just can't get through you. Oh, God. Come on, Well, it's right? a good thing I have Taylor Cream Sherry, and I have lots of beer at home. Thank God. What's lots of beer? How much? That's, I got like several bottles. Oh, lots of beer. I'm thinking, pick, picking four, five, six, six packs. Well, I'm not. We think I'm Irish, like her. I'm a lush. Well, when you said lots of beer, I mean, no, I mean, a lot of beer. I mean, for me. Oh, yeah. Bye. Hey, look who it is. How are you? How is your class going? My what? Your class. You went to school. That's it. That's Eileen, you've got to start listening though, when people try to help you. My brother told me, I, listen to nobody, and my, and my psychiatric counselor, who's a nurse, who's, who's, got, who's got a master's degree, uh, I'll degree said, her. Oh. said, don't be listening to all these people, use, my brother said, use your own mind. Okay, now what? That's, that's bullshit. Now this that's nurse, total BS. this nurse abandoned total you, BS. this nurse, uh, this aide abandoned you, when well, you this needed was help. This was a different nurse, a nurse that, 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 that helped me, not the nurse that didn't help me, you know? Is Irene's brother giving her good advice? Oh, okay. Sorry. <laughs> Should people I lean? Have, people have to use their Should I? Advice. No, people need help too, Eileen advice. Should I lean listen to those who are trying to give her good advice and help her? Yes. Now, there are people who mean well that are, that are normal and smart to give you Let's good advice. Let's make it simple. Is Eileen listening to the wrong people? Now the girl that this girl that I know, she's a widow, works at the Dollar Tree in Lorelei. She has three young children. She's a widow. I told her go to Rochelle Park because you have no idea how many benefits you Well let me interrupt Jimmy real quick. Yeah, go ahead. You're from Bergen County. You went to Passaic County. What was that all about? No, oh, they just they just uh, Horizon Insurance was sending me food because I had Horizon Insurance. They stopped sending. And I but you can't, can't get go, it you, and I can't get you the can't food. get it from another county. You got to go county to county. Because I have Horizon You're insurance. a Bergen County resident. You cannot get it in Passaic County. It, Bill. Oh, I was I, I can't get. Oh, see, there I go. I can't I get was through. Listen, was listen to me. Bill. Listen no, to me. Your insurance has nothing to do with. You live in the the county. Your mailing bill. address is Hasbrookites, correct? It's got to be in your own county. She's not even paying attention. I'm you know? right, Bill. I know I'm right. She's not paying attention. She's you, out of her mind. I'm, I'm oh, listening God. to you, Jimmy, but oh. I'm telling him I'm right. Is your mailing, is your mailing address Hasbrookites, New Jersey? Yes. That's Burton that's County. That's Burton County. Mm -hmm. You have to go to Rochelle Park or Hackensack. I went to Rochelle Park. They won't give me any more food stamps. They refuse well, to Well, Passaic County me. will tell you, honey, you're in the wrong county. They'll say we can't well, help you. You have to appeal you. it. You have to appeal it. They were not going to help you. You're in the wrong county. You probably got too much money why in your you bank to, account. Why didn't you go to Essex County, Hudson County? I only County. got $500 Shh. in my bank account. That's well, then you, then you qualify. Yeah, that's not you qual yeah, she qualifies. You can't have over 1000 yeah, they think you're rich if you have like a, over a thousand. Yeah, but she's in the room. Yeah, I know. I, I know. I just can't reach her. You, know? you are. You do have a right to an appeal when they try to shaft you. Look how many times they try to shaft a William. Who? <laughs> William. His name is William. You know. Who the guy that comes in here talking about football? 
That's me. I'm pointing at him. Oh, damn. <laughs> oh God, shoot me, Karen. You know, can I ram my head? Well, Bill is a nickname for William. Rob, Bob is Robert, things like that. Yeah, in Spanish they say Guillermo. Guillermo, William. That's, that's Spanish for William. No, I'm, if I ran, yeah, Eileen, we just can't get through to you. We can't, we can't. Yeah, Bob, I don't know where they got, yeah, he's right about that. Bob, Robert. No, we're, we're, we're off that. We can't get through, I've been telling you. Yeah, but I find it fascinating how they got Bob. Why didn't they want to give me the amount of food stamps I have now? They say I shouldn't even be going there looking for it. You know, by default, they turn people down the first time. Let me, if it's not, if it's, it's personal, but if you don't want I to I said the word the first. How, well, how much do you get into EBT right now? About 500, about 100, I mean. What? Whoa, 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 whoa. He gets 15. He gets 15. Fifteen dollars. That's not enough for me. I like to eat, but you see my belly, right? Oh, God. Show Jimmy that. No, I'm not even looking. I'm not looking. I'm not looking. Nobody wants to see mine either. Yeah, but that's why we have clothing. Show Jimmy. That's why we have clothing. That's okay. Look, look. Silence is gone. You're slimmer. You guys are slimmer than me. Yeah, and, and me too. I'm, I'm not. I'm not that. I used to be so much. Silence is gone. You probably gone. weigh less than me. How much do you weigh, Bill? About two hundred eighty. You weigh two hundred eighty pounds? Are you serious? How much does Jimmy weigh? Three hundred and seven. No, I'm about one one ninety five. I weigh one. I weigh one seventy five. Do you? I weigh 175 too. Do you really? Yeah. Oh, that's all. And I'm, I'm almost 5'8", so here's what I'm 5'8 and a half, and I weigh 175. You weigh 175? Well, you're a big bone. Yeah, that's what I weigh. You have a big frame. Your jaw is the heaviest bone in, in your whole body, probably. I need to lose weight. We know that. <laughs> we know that your jaw is the heaviest bone in your body. Hardy, hard, hard. Man, those jets are flying and taking them. Oh yeah, now now Trump wants to cut funding the TSA, the, the airport security funding. It's like that's a nice phone, man. This is the one you have. Same. One. That's why I said it. It's because because <laughs> rich people take private jets. He don't care about regular people. Eileen doesn't have one. Everybody keeps stealing it. She won't use it because she's afraid of it getting stolen. Which is makes no sense. And why I have one? I don't understand. You don't that. Even, don't have a cell. Don't have a phone. And you got to keep on running back home all the time. For a guy that never called her. But everybody needs one of these because you never know. Especially if you get stuck with the car or something. You'd be surprised how many people still have flip phones. Fl fl flip phones. All of today's electronics crap is going to destroy us, isn't it? Yeah, well, I have an I have an iPhone, but mine was a cheapest one is probably two hundred dollars. Yeah, mine was a gift, but it's not the best. No, it's a it's an iPhone six, and now it's like. Oh, now they have, well, they have the latest uh, stuff. And they're big, like a tablet. You know, almost like a little baby tablet. Yeah, it's okay. You know. Well, now they don't even have. I don't even think they sell phones anymore. Well, they have to because that's what a lot of people want them. They have to. Really, a lot of people don't want to embrace technology. You're not embracing it. You're being categorized and assimilated by technology. Well, there is a lot of subliminal brainwashing going on. Asking, but you all weren't paying attention, so I don't care, but I got an answer. No, well, that's, that's obvious, the brainwashing. All this electronics crap is going to destroy us, isn't it? Oh, uh, Karen, uh, uh, Clairol, natural instincts, you only leave it in for 10 minutes. No 45 minutes. My, I used it my, one time. My mother had a box. Oh, yeah? 
Yeah, and I use it. Ten minutes. Clear all natural in it. Because that 45 minute thing is like, that's, that's annoying as hell. Yeah, the 45 minute hair coloring is really annoying. I mean, you have, that's a long, yeah, that's a long wait. Not, not lately, because I'm going to get a haircut soon. Like, you know, eventually, like what happens is when Bill gets his haircut, then he, then he colors it. Huh? You color your hair, Bill? Do you do it yourself? No, it, it pays to color it after you get the, the hair. I pay to get it done, Bill. I pay to get it done and beautify. You need a haircut. Oh, for, no, you got a haircut? Well, that's awful, like, it's like, it's like straw. I just got a cut, Bill. You know what it is, the weather. She might have a little yeah, you might have, I don't put some on, I hear frizzy. it's very yeah. frizzy. It's frizzy. Yes, with the weather, it's so rainy, yeah? Yeah, I don't know. You should get, get it straightened a little bit, maybe. You like, you like Pantene products? Yeah. Pantene is a good... I need to put conditioner in it, Bill. Pantene's good. Yeah. And I like going to get from... Seriously, don't lose that card. Yeah. It's like that. It's got apricot. Oh, it's so good. I, I like it. I use it for body wash, too. Yeah, that's hard. Oh, the yeah. No, I mean, they have the moisturizing shampoos, the conditioner and shampoo in one. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, you, you, you probably got so much crap going on that, that haircuts and hair coloring is the last thing on your mind. You know, with all the crap that's going on. Once you get situated, then you'll be back in the saddle. Again. <clears throat> but the good thing about you is when your hair gets longer, it gets wavy. Yeah. It's like uh, the way Superman had his hair. When it was, you know. The what? Some people don't color that. Some people do. don't. Do you? Sure. Yeah, why not? Sure. My dentist uh, yelled at me. Now, some women like it, the salt and pepper, but my dentist, my female dentist yelled at me for having gray in my hair. She didn't yell. Well, she scolded me, for real. Scolded you. Come on, man. She says, what, what is this? What is this with this gray in your hair? Get rid of it. <laughs> Jesus if that Christ. isn't scolding, I don't know what is. That's exaggeration. Come on, man. Hey, what the hell's the yeah, matter with you? What is this? Great? Yeah, Please. but I've known her for a long no. time. People, when people get, get comfortable with you, they do that. No, they don't. They don't? No. Well, you scold me all the time. No, I don't scold. <laughs> I tell you the truth and the facts. Yeah, that's true. He never really said, what the hell's the matter with you? I tell you this is wrong. You gotta that stop would be it. Funny. Don't do this. No, you gotta be honest with people. Yeah. I know old timers do that. You know, hey, what the hell's the matter with you? <laughs> I like when people try to tell me when I'm smoking. You know, those things are gonna kill you. I said, well, hot shot, it's not working yet. <laughs> and then they shut right up. Uh, Saturday in the park, every day's the 4th of July. Okay, the Chicago, best. Yeah. The, oh, I saw the original Chicago. I Terry saw the, 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 the beginnings the other, the, the other night. No, I, I, I heard Chicago tribute, but they're very good. Oh. No, but I saw the original show with Terry Kath. Yeah. Before he killed Chicago. himself at Carnegie Hall, 1970. My oh. buddy, my buddy was on the Congress. He was a percussionist. Oh. What? Well, every and, song uh, was a hit. Yeah, some of the best words, expect. some of the best I'm words. Them back. I'm into them more now, believe it or not. No, but some of their words, a hard habit to break, were phenomenal. I burned him a, a you CD. You don't know them, do you? I'm asking you all, do you know the words? Yeah. A hard habit to break, I'm asking you. I remember the song, but not the words, lyrics. Though. The lyrics are some of the best well, ever written. That's the 80s, written. though, I think. That's the late, later Chicago. I guess I thought oh, yeah. you'd be here forever. Another illusion I chose to create. Don't know what you got until it's gone, and I found out a little too late. That's Think heavy duty. That. That's, that's some of the best words ever written. Think yep. about that. Oh, it's I, true to life. Taking people for granted. You see? I guess I thought you'd be here forever. Oh Another God. illusion I chose to create. Don't know what you got until it's gone, and I found out a little too late. Think about that. That's heavy duty. I'm going to send... Wow. You tell me any song that's better than those words with lyrics. I burned him a CD, Chicago's Greatest Hits for his yeah. car. Yeah. 
Yeah. Chicago's greatest hits. That was when um, I was burning CDs <laughs> I, until I ran out. Oh, I, they were good in concert. <laughs> But I'm honored well, to have. Still here. I said, I'm honored to have. I'm honored to have my friend that was the Congress in there. Yeah, and he was Congress for Santana yeah. too. You like you like Earth, Wind, and Fire? Oh God, yeah. 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 KC and the Sunshine Band. I'm your boogie man. That's no. what I am. No, I like the number one bit. There you go. That's the way. Uh huh. Uh huh. I like it. Uh huh. Uh huh. Put, well, uh, put on the bo boogie shoes. Boogie that was... Oh yeah, that's a good. Da, 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 da. Oh, I like I like the original hit. I love that. That was his horn. His that's horn the, that's yeah, I like the, yeah, I like I that. Like that's why I like Chicago. Put a bo 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 boogie the, shoes. The brass, oh, yeah. Remember the average white band from Australia. Yeah. Isley Brothers. Now, now, oh, shout Isley. tears to fears. Oh, yeah. Shout has heavy duty lyrics too. If you listen to, they're, they're, got, they're Germans. Nineteen uh, eighties. Uh, tears, tears, tears to fears or tears of fears. Tears for fears. Yeah, they're, they're German. I like over heels too. I like that. That's like that was like a day. Yeah. Practically. Somebody's watching me. Da 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 da. Remember that. I think somebody's watching me. Here you go, Jimmy. Take this. Oh, that was nice of you. I thought you would grab it. It's called I love. It's called, think of other people, Jimmy. it's called love. Listen, <laughs> listen. What you got to do is. That's why when you gave them to him, you listen. Look your lips. What you got to do you is. Go ahead and talk. I'm gonna get my. What you got to do is. No, I'm. I'm ready to go. You got to uh, throw the gar. You got to throw the garbage out of your purse. You got to do no, that weekly. No, no, no. We should throw the card out with it. But don't throw the card out. You will. Listen, that card, that's that's my doctor. His address is there. His number is there. So, uh, 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 it's so facto, ergo, don't lose it. Okay. All right. Very rarely do I lose don't it. Listen. I never lose anything in don't my listen. pocket with Jimmy. Don't listen to him. My doctor does it all. Dermatological, the ear. He's treated me in so many different ways. If I need blood work, I don't have to go to a lab. I go right there. The lady takes the blood out, cup of urine, boom. Anyway, on that note, this was definitely a maniacal... Going, Saturday Madness, Maniacal Saturday. Going, He's going to his uh, his room to be all by himself, or maybe he hangs out at in the lobby and talks to people. I don't know. Maniacal Saturday Madness. It happens to be uh, what? This is the um, the first week of August, right? We're first week of August, two thousand eighteen. Definitely maniacal. This has been a Mega Life 21 production.